our experience in the car has always been isolated from the rest of the world, and that's about to change. The car is going to become a first-class citizen of the cloud in which inside the car you're going to have access to all the social media, all the network services that are out there, and it will truly revolutionize the driving experience, the experience of the automotive makers making those cars, the ecosystem of people who are going to make applications for those cars. I mean, it's probably the most exciting time in automotive history that I can imagine. So it all really started with a simple idea. What happens if you connect up a car to a high-speed network? What if you could download an endless content library from the cloud to the car? You know, your favorite films, your favorite TV shows, things that you've recorded at home. What if I could find out where's the closest restaurant? Where's that gas station? Who has the lowest prices on gas? What if there's a show playing near me and it can warn me, hey, your favorite band's playing two blocks from where you're driving right now. Real-time traffic information, updates on weather, Updates on construction, reroutes. You can find your nearest friend that happens to be around where you're driving right now and meet up with them for lunch. If you ever tried to get your kids, everybody get into the car, but they're watching something on the TV. You should be able to say, hit pause, get in the car, sit down, hit continue. That in itself is probably worth the price of admission. We've got a technology that, that Alcatel Lucent is leading in called LTE, long-term evolution. It is the next evolution of, of mobile connectivity. And it's truly breakthrough because for the first time, you've got the types of bandwidth to be able to go through that network that, that are similar to that of a fixed network and minimal latency. Connectivity is always on. Think of the early days you actually had to dial up with the phone. Horrible experience, right? You don't want that in your car. You just want it to be always there, always ready, always able to deliver. For the first time, we've got, you know, truly powerful in-car computing platforms from our partner QNX that then in turn can use that connection to connect to the greater network at large where, where the applications can live, where the computing power, the true computing power can live, and where the content can live as well. This is too big a problem for one company. So we realized very early on, this had to be a collaboration amongst multiple companies, each bringing their expertise. And when you do that, the whole truly is greater than the sum of the parts. NG Connect, or Next Generation Connect, is an ecosystem. It's really about bringing the, all these varied partners together to a common goal. And I think introducing Atlantic to QNX was sort of the catalyst for getting us really excited about that. Both companies were working on basically the same vision in parallel, unknown to one another. Alcatel Lucent was looking at the connected vehicle, LTE, high bandwidth. At the same time, we were launching our connected car program, developing a complete integrated stack. So when we met up together, it was a marriage made in heaven. You've got Alcatel Lucent providing the network connectivity. You've got QNX providing the platform. You've got Adobe providing Flash, and that allows content companies like us to create applications and deliver content in a way that is familiar to us to this new kind of device. And I think you really need all these companies working together, or really an ecosystem, to make this all work. The first meeting was like absolute magic. I would get up and I would talk about my vision, and they'd say, hey, that's our vision, right? And they would bounce theirs back, so it was like truly a meeting of the mind. We realized that we had you know, something that was truly game-changing, and not just for our industry, but for the automotive industry, for the application industry, for the content industry, and finally for people as well. So there was this moment when we realized we had all the right ingredients, and we just decided, Listen, Let's just go build it. So our two engineering teams have formed up. We uh, work seamlessly together. And uh, I would say this has been the most accelerated project that I have ever worked on. And why? Because both sides are experts in their fields, and they are just so pumped about what it is that they're doing. We took delivery of the car, and I saw the car completely torn apart. Wires hanging all over the place. And then we put the first software load in, and it all just worked. And I was like, wow, OK, this is looking really good. This is a reality. It's not a dream. So we're able to take existing apps and port them very easily to the car. It's really a matter of resizing. Very little code changes or anything else. Seeing everything come together and the collaboration amongst all the various different people has been just tremendous.
it really forms a, a new driving experience, uh, not just for the driver, but also the passengers in the car. So enhanced GPS is really taking traditional navigation and overlaying location-based services. Everything you have is always live. Traffic updates, where parking is available, weather, where accidents might be. You'll always have the latest information. Streaming music in the car, being able to purchase music in the car. I'm driving down the road, I want to hear a new song or a specific song maybe I don't have with me. You can interact with the artist. You can find out things about the artist, where they're playing next. You can read their blog, all while enjoying that sort of next generation music experience. If you're a kid, this could be the best journey you've ever had. Having access to gaming, both uh, games played in the car with the other passengers, as well as people that are on the other side of the world playing that same game. Having access to movie programming that you get in real time having access to YouTube or any other kind of internet experience, you can have it right there in the car with you. The automaker saves money by not having to ask the car owner to come in for service if it requires a simple software update to the car, and the car owner doesn't have to spend time actually going to see the dealer. I think it's a huge new opportunity for content companies. There are opportunities for subscriptions, there are opportunities for sale of downloads. Buying concert tickets is something you're near to. With the connected vehicle, it really enables all new services, all new functions, all new features, and new business models that can really be targeted around location, search, even targeted advertising that can be brought into the vehicle in a way that's relevant for the driver. And in the future, it enables the car manufacturers to connect with their consumer post-sale and keep the car fresh, current, and keep them loyal to the brand. LTE technology today is ready to be rolled out. It's being adopted. People are going to want these services in their car. The audio manufacturers, are, they're going to want to be able to get that technology into the car. And both Alcatel, Lucent, and Cunix are, are ready to help them do it. This technology offers a unique experience for everybody in the car. The driver, the passengers, kids, adults, it doesn't matter. It is something that will be completely different and will really change the way we drive. The thing that is an absolute certainty is we do have critical mass today. There is nothing more that we need to move forward and be successful. It is going to happen. This truly is a revolution.